Hello everyone, I have been requested by a lot of people just to start giving them an introduction about the library that is called Pi P6XER and this library is primarily for um, reading XER files and using them in Python. Uh, it's a native library cr I've created which allows people to um, uh, parse the data or read all the data from the p6 library uh, into python and then they can do any manipulation that they want with the data so this can be a good starter for uh, data collection uh, from different p6 files uh, which can be used for artificial intelligence or machine learning in the future so i came up with a short uh, 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 program that will explain the step that we need to do in order to understand this library. So we start. We will start by creating a, a small P6 program, and that's by no meaning is a P6 training because it would be very brief and quick. Um, then we'll go into exporting the program as an XAR file, and then open that XAR file in a text in a text editor to understand what is the structure of a text file of of the XAR file. As soon as we understand that. Then we move into the Python library, installing it, and then we start coding. Give some examples, like we have few examples in here, but we can still add to them. The most important bit is it's an open source library, free to use, no restrictions on it. And I would say that it will only grow if we have a community that contributes to that to this library. So I would encourage you all to participate and you can you can either participate by uh, contributing to the code which is available on github um, I can show you that right now so if you open the browser and it is github and that's my name ip6xr I'm going to leave this in the description but here you can see this is the code and you can go through it and start reading how the whole library is structured. We won't go get into that detail right now, but if you have um, issues, you can report them in here, so you can create a new issue, and, and that's the only way that I will interact with this library. Uh, so I would like, if you have, if you find a problem or a bug and you want to report that, please report it in here, so it would be taken care of. Um, so Without delay, let's start by opening our Primavera and we'll create a new project. Um, so, just make sure that we close everything, then create a new project, the enterprise and call it by p6 xr test project or all right so we finished that and then we need to open it so let's open that project from here and we start by getting the default primavera um, views and what I need to start doing now will create a WBS small one so I have the pi p6xr and then add WBS call it mobilization uh, another one for design construction and handover and go back to you here and just make sure that I have the WBS and don't have it so get the WBS on now we have everything uh, that we need so just add one activity under each um, 
under each WBS. Don't show this part again. And then design. Yeah, I know that it's it's a very small program, but it's best to understand um, the structure is to have things limited. Uh, limited activities to understand the structure of the file. Um, over. And now we have the activities added. Uh, I'm going to link them all. Finish to start activities. Uh, to start with, and reschedule this. We have now all finished to start, but I'm going to change them so we can see different items. In, in the project so let me let me first add here start milestone and then make this as a milestone um, start milestone here and then I will link this to the activity what we can do also we can show the links so make sure that things are yeah proper um yeah don't like this so let's do uh, then sort and buy okay and at the end we'll just say that project finish project finish And this will be a finish milestone, which will be linked to that finish of the handover. So the relationship here is finish to finish. Relationship third, that should be um, start to start with the predecessor. And then have finished to start and we'll call this like we're doing overlapping between design and construction and make that overlap to be two days as a lag all right um, so this is basically the project that we want to um, understand so what we are going to do now export this as an XER file and then we'll go and start looking on into that file and how it is structured i mean you can you can do any format i usually prefer to get an old version just to make sure that it's compatible with different people using the system um yeah export and then we'll pick a folder uh, we'll go with um, And it's on my desktop, I think. I have. Yeah, this is a training folder I have, so let's put things in there and then finish. Now the export is done. We have.